Hello everyone, my name is Smithy and welcome back to another RuneScape for Dummies video. Today we are doing a very highly requested, highly anticipated guide, which is on the Barrows Brothers. Now, there's six brothers, uh, As we before we jump into anything, there's six brothers and they have different attack styles. So you've got Arim, who is a major, you've then got four of them who are melee, that being Darok, Guthan, Torag and Verak. And then you've got Carol, who is a ranger. Um, so obviously we're going to need some different attack styles to take on the different brothers. Now, all of the melee ones and Carol are weak, incredibly weak, I should say, to magic. Um, so we're not going to be needing any uh, uh, magic bonus armor or gear, bar, you know, a weapon. Um, you can see I've got a Trident of the Swamp here. Um, back in the day when I first started doing Barrows, I was using an Iban Staff, which is completely usable, usable here. Um, you're probably looking at my setup and going, well, you've already got Barrows gear. That's why I'm going to Barrows, because I'm an Iron Man, for example. Now, I was starting off using a Rune Full Helm, uh, Green Dehyde, and then for my tank gear, it was just Rune Armor. Um, so if I jump on here, um, the Guthans Helm, you can completely replace with whatever your, maybe Proselyte. Proselyte's really good here as well, or a Nezi Helm. Um, I've got my Ava's Assembler. You can use any of Ava's devices just for your um, collecting your uh, bolts or arrows. If not, um, whatever your best in slot cape is. An Ardy cape is really good because when I get onto how we get here, an Ardy cloak is really useful. You also get a prayer bonus with the Ardy cloak. Um, my Fury, you could replace. I was using an Amulet of Power back in the day. Um, you could use a Glory as well. Um, bolts, whatever your best bolts are. Uh, I use broad bolts because they're cheap for an Iron Man. Um, you could, you know, you, I used to use a Dorgish and crossbow as well, uh, which I found was relatively okay here. Uh, it does make the Arim kill slightly slower. Um, you do have the option of, potent of, of using uh, melee on um, Arim as well. Uh, I just find range is a bit more effective because of the combat triangle. Um, then, like I said, you can replace the Trident of the Swamp with a um, Iban Staff. Reason why I've got a Carol's Lever Top um, is because when you're using one of Ava's devices, if you don't have a um, range-based torso on, or plate body on, or whatever, dehyde body, um, Ava's devices don't work. So, reason why we've got a range top on is because we want to use our assembler, so we need a range top. Uh, I've got a Dragon Square shield. You could bring a Rune Kite shield. You could even bring one of the uh, God Books as well for their bonuses. Uh, the green one, the Guthix one, is quite good because it gives you a bonus in magic and range. So if you are using a Rune Crossbow or a Dorgshan Crossbow or whatever your best in slot crossbow is, you can have that on your offhand. Another option is you could use a Magic Shortbow, uh, but you just need to cater in your inventory for when you equip it. You need two two items going into your inventory because obviously a uh, bow uses uh, both hands. Now for plate legs, I've got a Varak plate skirt. You could use a um, set of rune plate legs, for example, or again, proselytes, very good here. Uh, and then whatever your best in slot gloves are, boots, um, tanky boots are good, um, like rune boots, dragon boots, uh, climbing boots are even good. Um, I've just got Eternal Boots for some magic bonus. And then same with my ring. I've got a Seer's Ring. Um, the uh, One of my favorite items in the game, the Explorer's Ring, is very good here because of the prayer bonus you get. Um, yeah, and also you can recharge your run energy, which is quite nice with it as well. Uh, so that's for kind of your lower tier items that you can use. But literally, like I said, I was using Green Dehyde when I first started here with a Dogshan Crossbow with Rune Armor. Um... I was using more switches. That is another option. You could use void as well. Um, so, you you know, you only need to click on your helmet and your weapon and then you're good to go for whatever attack style you're using. Um, but yeah, really, you want to be bringing your best magic attack here. Tanky uh, gear because, you know, just to take some of the blows because um, Verac does hit through prayer. Um, and then, you know, a range switch or a melee switch for Aaron. And then the tunnels as well, but I just usually magic down there. Now, in our inventory, our vital thing that we have is a spade because to get down to the Barrows Brothers, you need to dig in the top of the mound and then you go down into like their um, little crypt, I guess. Would you call it a crypt? Their barrow. That's why it's called Barrows. Uh, then I've got a full inventory of food so I can do um, 
as long a trip as I want with this amount of food. If you are um, if you are a player who is a lower level, I would recommend bringing prayer pots because you're going to want to maintain your prayer. Now, the three priority ones, uh, brothers, that you're going to want to keep your prayer up for are Darok, Car- uh, Ar- uh, Arim, and then Carol because they hit they hit like a bloody freight train if you don't use prayer. Uh, Guthan, if you can, pray against him as well. Torag. You know, he hits every now and then, but Torag Hammer's a pretty dog shit, to be honest. Uh, and then Verak, I mean, it's good to pray against him, but, you know, he can hit through prayer as well. Um, big one, though, Darok can hit up to, like, 55s, I think it is. Um, I had two of them on me, Ed, and that was my hardcore status gone, so um, watch out for him. Um, but we're going to be running for a whole kill of all five, all six brothers and uh, then the crypts as well. So don't worry, we're going to go in for an example. I always carry a placeholder for mine runes, chaos runes, death runes, blood runes, and coins because they are the things that you get from the uh, from the uh, reward chest, along with hopefully an item uh, or an elite clue. Um, there are other things you can get there with bolt racks. That's if you increase your potential um, down there, and then you can also get loop uh, well key halves or dragon helms. Med Helms, that is not full Dragon Helms, Jesus. Can you imagine? Um, now, let's talk about how to get here because that'll explain why I've got my room pouch here. So, there are multiple ways that you can get to Barrows. Now, you've got um, the Fairy Ring BKR, which will drop you... If we go on the map, BKR is... No, that's BIP, BKR, BKR is this one here. So you can use this fairy ring here. Then you run down to the boat and that'll row you down to here. And then you just run up to Barrows. Uh, another option is if you've got 50 agility, you can use this fairy ring here. It's a bit more of a direct one. And then you've got to go around here. But when you're running through the swamp, be very careful because your food will uh, decay or, or go bad and you won't be able to use it. You'll have to drop it and it will be like a green, smudgy, minion looking thing that you need to throw away. So if you are going through the swamp, if you are going around here, you need to be careful of some, you are potentially going to lose some of your food. Um, but that's okay because when you do your runs, you do your run, teleport out to a bank, teleport back, and there you go. A good idea if you are using the fairy rings is, like I said, the Ardy Cloak because it teleports you very close to a um, fairy ring uh, with a monastery teleport. But you are going to need Draymond Staff or the, um, what's the other one called? Uh, Lunar Staff to be able to use your fairy rings. Unless you've got the diaries done, um, then you don't need a staff. But you are going to need your Draymond Staff if you are using the fairy rings. Another option is, like you can see where I'm standing right now, we've got the Barrows Teleport, which is what I use. But I have a um, portal set up in my player owned house. Um, but that is another option. Uh, I feel like there's another one as well. They've, yeah, you can use the Draken's Medallion, um, and that teleports you like... Is it here? Yeah, I think it's here. Don't sod around with that. It's a pain in the ass. Don't bother. Um, I guess you can... I think you run through this gate here, if I remember correctly. I've never really used it. I used, I used to use... Um, uh, where is it? This one here, the BKR Fairy Ring, uh, and then use the rowboat. That was quite good. Um, but, you know, once you uh, start getting into the rhythm of it, I would recommend getting the portal built in your house uh, if you are going to be running b- uh, barrows fairly often, especially if you're doing bingo events. It's just really helpful. Uh, but there are your ways of getting here, um, which explains why in my room pouch I have a home teleport. I also have a teleport that means that I can quickly teleport to a bank as well with Camelot. So that's just another thing as well. Uh, Rings of Jewelin are really good for um, teleports to a bank. Um, Glory as well, teleport to Edgeville. That's a good one. Um, but yeah, you've got some options there with uh, teleporting out when you're done. Because you are going to need a teleport to get out of here as well without having to dick about finding a ladder. So we're going to be going through a full Barrows run of what you ex- should expect, what you need to do, how you need to kill them, what ones are the dangerous boys, um, and yeah. So if you are a lower a lower level player and you don't have as high, a, like ignore my stats, you can do this with like 50 um, magic, or whatever it is to cast Ivan's Blast. What, what's Ivan's Blast? 50. 50 magic is really your benchmark here. Um, some defense as well would be good. Maybe base 50 stats uh, in range and defense. Um, you're not going to really be using attack and strength. Don't worry about that. 
Um, prayer, you're going to want your overheads, so you're going to want up to 43. Uh, Eagle Eye is incredibly useful on Aram, uh, so, you know, 44. Let's go for that. Um, or Mystic Might as well, if you are a lower player, lower level player. I don't bother with Mystic Might, but I do use Eagle Eye. Anyway, so... If you are a lower level player, make sure you've got your prayer done. Make sure you've got your prayer pots to hand. And we're going to run over uh, to our first brother, which is Darok. So the path that we're going to be doing is Darok, which is this one. We're then going to be doing Arim. We're then going to be doing Carol, which is this one here. We're then going to go to Guthan. And then we're going to run across to Torag. And then we're going to run across to Verak. Now, the reason for that is because we want to be using our prayer for Darok. We want to be using our prayer for Arim, and we want to be using uh, the prayer for uh, Carol as well, who's literally just out, out, out in that black void that's over there. Uh, Guthan as well, if we can, but if not, not too bothered. Torag, like I said, um, he's not the most reliable at hit and bless him. Uh, and Verak, you know, same again. But uh, if, like I say, if your stats are on the lower side, just keep your prayer up the whole time. Bring prayer pots, it's worth it, trust me. But anyway... Let's get on with the kill. We're going to be digging down into Darok's lair. Uh, we're going to walk up to the sarcophagus and we're going to hit um, search. So now Darok will come out. We'll kill Darok. Um, just to point out as well, uh, for each run, it's random which one will be the crypt. When we get to that, I'll show you, I'll explain why and what it is. Um, but essentially, if the, if Darok, for example, was the, was the, uh, the crypt uh, brother, um, we would just go back up and go and do Arim and do do it how we would normally do. Um, you want to bring enough prayer pots so you have enough prayer when you're down in the crypt because if you get one of the big boys down there, or even, like I said, if you're a lower player, um, you're going to want to be uh, praying against those. So because we're doing Arim next, Major, we can switch to our range um, attack, which in this case is my Rune Crossbow. You could use melee here. See, this gamer here is using a uh, blowpipe. Um, and this one here who's just running is going to be using melee, but I prefer to use range here. Um, like I said, I'm frying up my mage defense and also my eagle eye. I can now turn them off. And we can now run it over to Carol. I'm going to switch back to my trident, my, my mage attack. Uh, and just one thing to t just to point out, do not dilly-dally once you've got the kill. Because you notice there was those heads coming up going, ooh, they start draining your prayer. So you'll notice, I'll point it out when one of them comes up. Um, so like I say, whack your range prayer up, kill Carol, you know the deal. Um, when you're down in these little um, tunnels or in the barrow itself, um, your prayer will start draining quicker than, you know, if we're up here and we have prayer on and whatever. Uh, and if one of the little heads come up and it's like a ghost, ooh, spooky, um, your prayer will drop even quicker when that comes up. It will, like, suck away some of your prayer. But I think it's the easy combat task, or medium, me, sorry, the medium combat diarrhea task. If you've got that completed, you can use the hilt reward from that. If you have it equipped in your offhand, uh, you don't get that effect. So if you do have the medium combat di uh, task done, bring that hilt as your offhand, uh, and you won't experience the prayer drain. But anyway, that's just something to think about as well. So we're going now down to Guthan. And there we go. We can see you found a hidden tunnel. Do you want to enter? Uh, for now, we're not going to do that, but just keep just remember that Guthan is your tunnel uh, because that is where we're going to go down into the, uh, into the crypt, and that is where the reward chest will be. But first, we have to fight the other brothers because we want to get our potential up here. For every brother, you get potential on if you're going to get a drop or not. Uh, and then there is some KC that you need to do in the tunnels as well. So we're going to be fighting Torag now. Like I said, bless him. He, he bangs his little hammers against you, but sometimes they hit, sometimes they don't. It's like sometimes maybe good, sometimes maybe shit. Most of the time it's shit. Um, but yeah, we're just going to pray melee against him. Turn off our prayer, quickly get up before our prayer drains too much. And now we're going to go over to Verak. Same again, we'll dig down, whack up our melee prayer, click on the sarcophagus, and start fighting Verak. Now, like I said, Verak can hit through prayer, so on this one, you're going to want to make sure, if you are lower level, uh, or you've not got much hit points left, you want to keep hovering over your food, because you don't want to get twatted and sent back to Lumbridge. 
And Varak should go down now. There we go. Very nice. We've already run out of prayer, so I don't need to turn it back on. Now, if you are out of prayer and you don't have any prayer pots, go and recharge your prayer because we're now going to be going down into the crypt. So the crypt is um, a cha like a, kind of a, a chamber of doors and little rooms that you'll need to move through. Now, not all the doors are unlocked unless you've got one of the... Is it, I can't remember the name of it. Strange pit, lock pick or something like that. Um, yeah, you can use those and you can unlock any of the doors. But there will be a defined path of what you need to lock doors you need to go through to get through to the um, treasure room, I guess, chest room, whatever you want to call it. Now, I mentioned about potential. So you're going to want to get 86 point whatever it is um, for your best chance at just getting an item and not getting um, bolt, bolt, bolt racks or any other crap that you don't need. Um, you are going to get runes and money every time. Sometimes you might just get money. Sometimes you might just get runes. Um, but you want to get 86% potential. Now, 86% isn't just from killing all six of the brothers. You're going to want to go down into the crypt and you want to kill two skeletons and one blood worm. You'll see it when we do the example. But if you kill those three as well, you'll get the 86% and that is your best chance at getting an item um, without wasting your time down there. So we're now going to click on the sarcophagus again. Click to continue. Yes, I'm a fearless. I'm a big, strong boy. Um, and we can see this person here is already farming their KC. Now, when you first come down here, you've got four doors. The only one of them will be able to be opened when you first come down. So we've got our open door down here. Um, and they are the all, all of the monsters down here are aggro, uh, are like aggressive or aggro, have aggro. So they will uh, attack you. So if you are worried about your health, run round with protect from melee on. So we've got our first skeleton. We're going to kill that. And every time you go in a room, it will spawn a monster as well. Just to bear in mind. And they do hit quite hard because they are rather high level. Now we're going to kill one of these worms as well. Uh, and then when we finally find one, we'll kill a second skeleton. And that will mean that we'll have enough potential after we've killed Guthan to uh, get the 86%, which is the number that we're aiming for. Now if we open here, got another worm. Now you'll see I've got these um, tile markers here. So these tile markers here are for a um, an invisible ladder that um, you saw where we came down. This is where a ladder could potentially be. Now, if I run the other side of it, uh, actually, no, I think you need, I think it's north to whatever. It's not working. But anyway, <laughs> I'll show you when we get, get into one where I, I know how to do it. Uh, it might be this room, actually. So we've got the rat. If I run the other side of this. Oh, there we go. So. If you get a room where you might be low he low low health or you've out of prayer, um, if you can you can you can force make brothers enter a room. If you keep going in and out the door, in and out the door, in and out the door, sometimes they'll spawn within the chambers, not the chest. So if you've got Darok, for example, if you get round the other side of this invisible ladder, you've safe spotted him. So that's another thing to look out for as well. Um, you know, when you're down here, because you see these people, these people, like this guy's just come down here. For him, there's a ladder here. For us, there's not, because our ladder is in another part of the, uh, part of the barrows or part of the crypt. But that, those are ones that you can look out for. Big rooms like this, where they've got a, um, you know, a, uh, uh, nothing in them, there's normally a, a safe spot in the middle of them. Now, I'm, I probably will put the, uh, oh, actually, we can kill the skeleton to get our potential. I probably put the, um, Actually, I'll do that now. I'll, I'll put the uh, ground markers in the Discord as well. So if you want to put them into your rune light, um, yeah, you can do that by going over to the Discord and importing and exporting. I actually have a video on how to do that as well. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and force Guthan to come into this room so I can show you the safe spot. Um, it doesn't always work. Um, so it might just be a case if you need to, you know, go and fight him at the, at the chest. But um, that's okay if not. So if I keep doing this, there we go. We've managed to force him. There we go. Cool. Right. So what we do, we run around like this, and then, you know, we'd start attacking Guthan. Right. I'm not going to kill him here because I want to show you how it looks when you get to the chest. So Guthan, mate, we'll see you when we get to the chest, and, um, yeah, we'll kill you there, mate. So, right. 
Imagine that we didn't do that. <laughs> and now we're running through Barrows, uh, running through the crypt. We're going to get around to the chest room. So you see, I'm looking, I'm always hovering over these doors here because this is where the, the treasure room is because you want to see what door um, actually leads into the treasure room. If we hover over here, we can see the open door. So we need to actually get around there. And so there we go. Look, Guthan spawned a bloody game. Mate, we get it. We get it. We get it, all right? We get it. Uh, we can go through. So I've got the plug-in on Moonlight that allows you to, uh, that gives you the, um, I think it's called Barrows. Yeah, Barrows Brothers. There's a plug-in called Barrows Brothers that will show you the puzzle answer. So let me just quickly do this. So it's this one here, Barrows Brothers, that you download on the plugin hub. Whack that in, and then you want to have show puzzle answers. And, you know, whenever you click on the door to the treasure room, it will give you the answer. Just one thing. I used to have it all written down in a little notebook. <laughs> oh, my God. Right. So when you come into it, imagine Guthan hasn't spawned there. I'd open the chest, and then Guthan would come out the chest, or whoever your crypt brother is would come out the chest, and then you'd fight them. So it's not a case if they'll always come through the doors. It's because I was, you know, manipulating the doors to try and get them to spawn. So, yeah. But when you open the chest, normally a brother will come out, you fight them, and then you can do your, your, uh, your loot here as well. So now, brother's dead. We've got 86%. We can open up the chest, and then you get your loot. Now, you'll get how much it's worth. You get your KC in chat as well. But there you go. It's very, very simple. Um, now you can see the room starting to vibrate. If I wait here for too long, which I will let it do, you'll start taking damage. So again, don't dilly dally, get your ass out of there because rocks start falling from the ceiling. So now what I do is I'm going to teleport back to my house. And because I've got a restore pool in my house, I can recharge my prayer. Um, I don't really need to get, um, go to the bank and get more food because I'm okay for food still. So what would you do at this point is you would teleport to your bank, um, use your bank teleport, uh, restock up. A good one to go to is um, whatever Clan Wars is now or Castle. No, is it Castle? No, Clan Wars, um, Ferrox Enclave because you can restore your stats there. Um, and not waste prayer or if you're using the monastery teleport you can monastery teleport recharge your prayer there at the altar that's quite a good one or even if you've got an altar in your house you can do that as well now i would then run over to my barrows teleport and uh we're ready to go again uh, <laughs> but anyway um i hopefully that i've i've not confused you hopefully you've got um some insight on barrows um and hopefully you've uh, you've learned how to do them and we can uh, go forth and prosper and get yourself some decent items in game. Um, if you've got any questions or if you want me to clarify any points, please do let me know in the comments. Um, I'll be more than welcome, more than happy to uh, um, give you some more insight in the comments. Um, also, if there's anything in the video that um, you feel like you've got any something to add, please put it down in the comments. I want these videos to have um, a useful comment section where people can go and find some more information that I've not shared in the video and also check the description as well as i will be updating those with any updates and uh, new items that i feel help out with barrows so if you're watching this a few months from now there might be some new information down there but anyway thank you all so much for watching if you're new around here and you did find the video helpful please do consider subscribing there's a whole range of different guides on the channel so have a little look around there and see if there's anything else that takes your fancy and um yeah stay safe and i'll see you all hopefully in another video. Bye.